Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be making my predictions for the upcoming WWE Evolution pay-per-view. A show on paper it looks pretty good. It just feels like WWE did a bad job promoting this show where they only promoted a couple matches like the Charlotte Becky match and the Ronda vs Nikki match to where they seem to have forgot to promote like the Mae Young Classic stuff on regular TV not just the network shows and the NXT Women's Championship match they would just show the graphic there's really nothing on there for anyone else who doesn't watch NXT to know what's going on in this title match. I feel like they should have done something at the end of SmackDown instead of at the middle so people will probably forget about it by the end of the show. So with all that being said, we'll get into my predictions for the WWE Evolution pay-per-view. Match number one is a six-woman tag, which will see Sasha Banks, Bayley, and Natalya tagging up to face on the Riot Squad. I can see this match going either way where you can make an argument for both teams to win, but my pick to win here is the team of Sasha Banks, Bayley, and Natalya. I feel like the team's gonna win to just set them off to go do something else. It feels like Sasha Banks and Bayley have been feuding with the Riot Squad for about a year and a half now, and I feel like this getting the win here will just end it and they can go on to do something else maybe finally completing the angle that they've tried to stop and start and have them to face off down the road and maybe get a wrestlemania match out of it and then maybe natalia will set off to go after the raw women's championship where she'll face her friend ronda rousey so now on to match number two match number two is for the nxt women's championship where Kyrie sane will be defending her women's championship against Shayna baszler my pick to win this match and to retain her women's championship with Kyrie sane i think Kyrie sane's gonna keep her title here because she just won it at the last takeover over special and I think a switch here would make no sense. I can see this being the end of Shayna Baszler in NXT or she'll move on to the main roster and this might not be her only appearance on the show. We might see her later in something else. More on that later. And now this will set Kyrie Sane off to defend her title for months to come and maybe go on some Asuka like streak to build her up as one of these dominant women before she gets called to the main roster in a couple of months or a year. So now on to match number 3. Match number 3 is a tag match which sees Alexa Bliss and Mickie James tagging up to take on the returning Trish Stratus and Lita. Originally this was supposed to be two singles matches that has now morphed into one and Alexa Bliss might not be cleared to compete at this show to begin with. The reports are she's dealing with a concussion that she sustained at the house shows over the weekend and she wasn't at Raw on Monday due to the backstage assault to set up this match for Sunday. It was instead Alicia Fox and Mickie James taking out Lita and Trish and they were taken out by them two afterwards. My pick here regardless of who the two competitors are is Trish Stratus and Lita to win. I feel like them coming back is just a feel good story for people to have a nostalgic feeling and I feel like if Alexa's there and she loses she can just brush this off on tv and if it's alicia fox and mickey james if no one will really care if they lose i more than likely see mickey james taking the pin here and this will probably be the last we see of trish and lita until the royal rumble in january now on to match number four match number four is the finals of the may young classic which will see yoshirai taking on tony storm my pick to win this is tony storm to walk away as the second winner of the may young classic i see tony storm winning because they had just started the nxt uk brand and she's one of the top women on that show and her winning the may young classic could set that and promote that uk show which is currently their new toy that they're working with on the network the other reason i think they'll do this is because the on and off again confusion about if there's gonna be an nxt uk women's title match on here it seems like there's not gonna be one on this show and with tony storm winning this is their big chance to promote the uk show so they can go for their network commercials or when they put them on raw or whatever you can say see may young classic winner tony storm on the nxt uk brand and i feel like yoshirai losing here she has a backlog of accomplishments that wwe can use to promote her on nxt to set her up to become one of the bigger stars and to go after the NXT Women's Championship and whatever feud she starts to get on her path towards the title. Now on to match number 5, which will more than likely be the main event for the purpose of this prediction I'm putting it here at match number 5, but it's for the Raw Women's Championship, which features Ronda Rousey defending her title against Nikki Bella with Brie in her corner. My pick to win this is Ronda Rousey to retain her Raw Women's Championship. Ronda's on this roll and is more than likely might be in contention for the main event spot at WrestleMania, and I don't see her losing here to Nikki Bella. I feel like all of Ronda's matches leading into WrestleMania 35 this year are just going to be pieces that are going to be up to her accomplishments where she's beaten this person and this person and this person and this person and this person so it'll lead into this match at Wrestlemania to I don't know who she'd be facing the rumors seem to be Charlotte to where she's beaten all these people can she beat the queen and continue on her domination here in WWE now with Nikki Bella I think this will be the end of her in the in ring until Rumble when she rolls around again where they bring everyone back for that but we might see Breen something else more on that in the next match which is match number six and is the women's battle royal where the winner gets a chance at a champion championship of her choice. This match currently lists 21 competitors and I think they'll find 9 more to make it a perfect 30 so it's essentially a women's Royal Rumble Part 2 but this time it's a battle royal. The current listed competitors are Tamina, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Ember Moon, Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Dana Brooke, Asuka, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Carmella, Lana, Naomi, Tori Wilson, Michelle McCool, Alondra Blaze, Ivory, Kelly Kelly, Maria Kanellis, Molly Holly, and Zelina Vega. Now I think this is going to be a standard battle royal but some crazy ideas 
ideas I think I have for this match could be two different winners who aren't listed as competitors in the match right now. With Survivor Series being close around, I don't see WWE having time to build up some new competitor that has no storyline maybe with Ronda, or whoever wins the SmackDown Women's Championship. And two people I can see challenging Ronda at Survivor Series that have kind of a pre-built storyline are Brie Bella, who can go, hey, you beat my sister, but you can't beat me, so I'm going to face you at Survivor Series after she wins its Battle Royal. And the other is Shayna Baszler. I can see Shayna Baszler coming back out for this match, winning it, and everyone's like, oh, she's going back after the NXT Women's Championship. She did it the hard way, but she shows up on Raw on Monday and says she's challenging Ronda at Survivor Series in LA. This will start having Ronda questioning who her friends are, and this can send her on a weird spiral to where it will be a competitive match at Survivor Series, but Ronda will probably keep the title. But I feel like this match should set up the next contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I feel like the Becky Charlotte feud's gonna end here and take a hiatus for now, so they'll need to get someone going. The top two people I could see going for this are Carmella and Asuka. They're the top two faces, I think, on the SmackDown side for the women who aren't involved in the title program. And no matter who wins the SmackDown Women's Championship, they already have a pre-built storyline in there to face whoever. If Asuka wins and Charlotte's the champ, she can go, you took my undefeated streak, now I'm gonna take your title. If Asuka wins and Becky's the champ, Becky can start going, I beat Charlotte Flair who beat you, so I'm gonna keep my title and keep beating you. If Carmella wins and Becky's the champ, she can go, I beat Charlotte Flair twice, just like you have, and now I'm gonna regain my SmackDown Women's Championship. If Carmella wins and Charlotte's the champ, she says she beat you twice, I'm gonna take the title back. Or you can potentially see a legend winning this and going after Becky at Survivor Series where Becky takes out a legend just to add to her character more and to add on to what she's been doing. But the current odds on favor to win this match, last time I checked, were Ember Moon and Asuka. I can see Asuka winning just to rebuild her character to where she's actually in some programs, not just some random tag matches. And I can see Ember Moon winning here just to get something new at the top of the Raw Women's Division to face Ronda to inject something new at the top of the Raw Women's Division. A third possible choice is Nia Jax. I think Nia Jax has some awards she's going up for, so if she has a chance at the title, she can promote that and be going for the title, so it's kind of like WWE promoting. Maybe our champion's gonna win another award, potentially. I don't really see it happening. My original pick going into this match was gonna be Ember Moon, but with basic wrestling math where she was standing tall in that fatal four-way on Monday, I don't think she's gonna win here. My pick to win this is Asuka. I think Asuka wins here to salvage her character to where she's back to where she was before all the WrestleMania stuff happened where she was dominant. And this, this little run to take on whoever the SmackDown Women's Champion is can get her back to where she was, even if she doesn't win the title. And this will turn Asuka kind of back into this dominant killer that, hey, there's some chances where you can get her to slip, but more than likely she's back to where she was. And I can see her winning here also to have WWE promoting the Royal Rumble in January to where it could be, can Asuka go back to back? She's won this battle royal, can she do what she did in January again? If she does come up short and doesn't win the title when she gets her chance. So now on to the last match, match number seven, which is a last woman standing match for the SmackDown Women's Championship, which will see Becky Lynch defend her title against Charlotte Flair. Going into this show, I have a feeling that this match or the NXT Women's Championship match or the Mae Young Classic match is going to be the best match on the show. With the stipulation, I feel like it can help it be even a greater match than what people are thinking. But my pick to win here and retain her SmackDown Women's Championship is Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is currently on a roll to where she's the most over person on the show, it seems like. She's especially the most over woman on the show. And I feel like her losing here will just send Long Island into a revolt against Charlotte Flair, where Becky's been getting all these cheers even when she was just in the dark match at the SmackDown on Tuesday that I went to. Everyone was cheering her and booing Charlotte to where when Charlotte spear her at the end to kind of stand tall heading into Evolution, people were just booing and it was just raining boos in the Prudential Center. I feel like Becky continues to ride the hot hand here and keeps us putting this on for months and months to come, until she probably runs into someone losing at WrestleMania or something like that. And I see Charlotte just having this thrown in her face by all the heels on SmackDown to where she starts beating them, which could lead into her winning the Royal Rumble in January to go on to face Ronda. And I'll do it for my predictions for WWE Evolution. Leave your picks in the comments section below, as well as how you're feeling heading into this show. I don't, it just, this show feels weird to me, like I don't feel like WWE did a really good job promoting this. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.